Charlie. Yeah, seems pretty full on. So her and Joey are together. Yep. Had no idea she was into women. Well, maybe you just weren't her type. <laughs> so how long have they been seeing each other? I'm not sure, but Ruby was pretty freaked out about the whole thing, so I haven't asked too many questions. But it all seems pretty fresh, though. Well, that would explain why Hugo was so weird yesterday afternoon. He's wanted to date her for a while. Morning. Hey, uh, there's coffee here if you want some. Oh, great. Hi. Um. Talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Oh, good news, mate. Uh, they're not pressing charges about the incident, so you and Brenda are in the clear. Oh, are you kidding? <gasps> oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Anyone else want a coffee? You're kidding me, right? Charlie did not sleep with you, though. Well, she came out of his room this morning while we are having breakfast. Oh, my gosh, she didn't come home last night. Are you sure anything happened, though? She could have just crashed there. No way. Well, you could totally tell, and they would have said something if they hadn't, wouldn't they? Like, hey, guys, don't get the wrong idea, but she looked as guilty as anything. Oh, this is so bizarre. It does not make sense. Well, maybe the thing with Joey was just a phase or something. Oh, but she said she was in love with her. Obviously, she's changed her mind. How can she not tell me this? Given the fact that Joey's version of what happened exactly matches yours, they've decided you've got no case to answer. Good. I'd still be expecting an official wrap over the knuckles, though moving Joey in when she was part of an ongoing investigation. I'm assuming I can start back on my shift tomorrow? Absolutely. Thanks. Senior Constable, I want you to know that you have the full support of everyone here. Your personal life is your business. <laughs>